Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Skipfan, I'm back once again with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing slash explaining that app Drastic, and if you guys don't know what Drastic is, it is a DS emulator, so you can play DS games on your mobile Android device. And the only apps you're going to need are Dropbox, Drastic, and RAR, and Dropbox is basically to get the games to save them, which they're called ROMs, if you guys don't know that. And then RAR is to actually open up the ROM file so you can do all the other stuff, which I will get to later in the video. But first, we're going to go into the, your browser. And when you go into your browser, you're going to go to this website right here, which is coolrom.com. Which I will have the link to this website in the description below, so don't worry. And once you go into that, you're just going to go down to, if you already have the emulator downloaded, which would be drastic which again I'll have in the description below as a for share download so don't worry but you're gonna go into ROM files and you're gonna go down and you're gonna go to Nintendo DS and once you do that you're gonna look see so you can browse by genre you can browse by letter you can just go through all of them if you want top 25 top 25 rate most rated games whatever but today for just easiness I'm just gonna go to Mario Kart DS because everyone knows Mario Kart <clears throat> so let's just go into this and then here it is and the reason why you're gonna need Dropbox is because you're gonna see, see a little save to Dropbox you're gonna go save to Dropbox and change location and all my saves go into that folder which is save so I suggest you make a folder like this just to make it all organized and then what you're gonna do is just click save here and then once you're done saving here you're gonna go out and you're gonna go into Dropbox and then you're gonna go into your saves folder and you're gonna go to Mario Kart DS and then once you go into Mario Kart DS it'll load up like this <clears throat> and this is for every game so and other games might take longer than others because they're bigger bigger files you know but this one is a pretty small file so it doesn't take too long and then once this is all loading up it'll take you to this screen which is why you're gonna need RAR for and then you see that Mario Kart DS.NDS you're gonna check that and then you see the the trash can the books with an arrow on the books with a plus you gotta click the one with the arrow and then you click destination path until you sends it to SD card zero you're gonna click OK and then it'll take C takes it's actually pretty quick and then once you're done doing that that's basically the drift of it and then if you go here and you just go to your SD card it should be down here see Mario Kart and I got Pokemon but after you're done with all of that you're just gonna go into drastic and you're gonna play the game but I will be back with um, some drastic gameplay just to show you guys how it works and all that but I will be right back okay guys here we are in drastic and let's just load up a new game that's what you have to do and then go all the way down because it's an SD card zero so at the bottom and there's all my there's the games I have now I will I yeah which is Mario Kart and Pokemon so basically just do the steps I showed you but let's just go into Mario Kart because you know it's simpler and you're just gonna click start game click touch screen to continue and then here we are just click this go single player let's just do Grand Prix let's do 150 CCs and I I want to be Yoshi. I the egg cut thing because, you know, who doesn't want to drive an egg? But yeah, so if you just do the steps I showed you, they're very simple steps actually. Then just have to, then just when you're done, just go in and you'll be ready. And click this button and then you're full screen. And it plays just like a normal DS and it's a lot of fun. But just note that some ROMs won't work, so don't be saying in the comments that my ROM is not working or whatever it's not working it's just some of the ROMs won't actually won't work I don't know why 
it says it needs some extra files, so just saying. But ma most of the main games will work, like most of the Pokemon. So if you're a big Pokemon person, Mario, there's some really cool games, I'm not going to lie. And I know someone in the last video asked if I would do... Um... PPSSPP, but I couldn't get that to work. I've tried it before, and I need a laptop to get it to work. I don't have one at the moment, so sorry about that. But it got me thinking. I forgot about Drastic, so I thought I might do a video on it. So really hope you all enjoyed. Please like down below if I helped at all. If you have any questions or concerns or anything, just tell me. Ask me in the comment section. I will be sure to answer. I try answering all comments. And before I end this video, I just wanted to thank everyone that I am at 81 subscribers. I am 20, a little less than 20, 19 away from that very amazing 100 subscribers. It's coming up fast, and it's happening faster than I would have thought. So I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed, and just keep on subscribing and like. But you know what, guys? I'm Skipify. And peace out.